we made a tryst with destiny. And now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge, not wholly or in full measure, but very substantially. At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru in New Delhi at midnight on the eve of independence in August of 1947. And this is Riti Sunshine Palla, your host in New York, as we celebrate the 65th anniversary of that most historic day of the 20th century. India gains independence. On August 15, 1947, this was the headline in a British newspaper, and they called it the greatest headline of the century. A headline made possible by the sacrifices of countless sons and daughters of India, the valiant and the brave who gave up their lives for India's independence. The legendary Bhagat Singh on his way to the gallows said, Do not shed tears when we are hanged, but do remember us whenever you celebrate the independence of India. And remembering those freedom fighters was the intent when we started this annual program five years ago. So we begin today by remembering and paying homage to all of them, from Mangal Pandey to Mahatma Gandhi, Maharani Lakshmi Bai, Bhagat Singh, Rajguru, Sukhdev, and Chandra Shekhar Azad, Lala Lajpat Rai, Subhash Chandra Bose, and the countless others who laid down their lives so India could be free. Because of their sacrifices, on August 15, 1947, we bid adieu to our colonial masters, the British, after a rule which lasted for 190 years after the Battle of Plassey. It was on this day that a new independent nation was born, which would go on to become the world's largest democracy, all because of the innumerable freedom fighters. Today, 65 years later, we salute them. has come such a long way in the last 65 years. Today, it is politically stable and emerging as an economic superpower amongst the global community of nations. The illustrious sons and daughters of the free India are making their mark all over the world. And one such daughter of India who makes our country so very proud is astronaut Sunita Williams. Daughter of an Indian-American father from Gujarat, Sunita is the second woman of Indian origin after Kalpana Chavla to have been selected by NASA for a space mission. She truly personifies intellect and courage and serves as an inspiration to both young and old. Over the years, astronaut Williams has become one of the most successful in her field. Last month, she embarked on her second space mission for a four-month stay at the International Space Station, from where she will be joining us later in the program. 20 seconds. And now, the moment you have all been waiting for. For the first time in the 65 years since India gained freedom, we are going to have an astronaut from the International Space Station hundreds of miles away in the sky join us for our celebration of India's independence. It is my great privilege and distinct honor to introduce to you astronaut Sunita Williams. Sunita, on behalf of all the Indian people here on Earth, I extend our greetings to you on this Independence Day of India. It's so wonderful to have you with us. Welcome to our program. Hello, thank you Rudy Sunshine for inviting me to join in your Indian Independence Day celebration today. Um, my name is Sunny Williams. I'm up here on the International Space Station uh, representing the United States and our partner countries as we orbit the Earth 16 times a day. Of course, you probably know um, I'm half Indian. My father's from the state of Gujarat. So I'm very familiar with the customs and cultures of India 
and I'm just so proud to be part of the celebration today. Happy Independence Day for India and I want to give you a little tour of the International Space Station just like how we came out um, from our Soyuz into the station. first module where we dock to, which is called Name One. It's a Russian module. Of course, there's a docking port in which our Soyuz docked. We're coming into the main node, which connects the whole station together, uh, the Russian part and the uh, partner, US OS partner section. Get a little disoriented coming up and doing a 90 degree, degree turn. But right here at this nodule node, you can see down to this uh, section is the Russian segment. And our Russian partners are working down there uh, this morning. And then we'll be going into the, uh, the partner segment, and I'll show you all the different models from all the different countries that are participating in the International Space Station. So come on and follow me. Good morning, Aki. Good morning. <laughs> Here we are in Node 1, again a, a node, meaning a lot of things are connected to it. Um, some interesting things that are connected right here are the airlock where we're, uh, we do spacewalks out of. Um, our spacesuits are getting ready for a spacewalk uh, right after India's Independence Day. It'll actually be August 30th, so about two weeks after Indi India's Independence Day. Um, we also have what we call a closet, um, and we keep a lot of our supplies and goods right below us. So this is a, one area that you can really get a little bit lost in because it's a, a little confusing with all the different modules coming off of it. Um, one other area I'm going to show you right now is Node 3, which is essentially our gym and also has something special, which I'll show you in a minute. This is our treadmill. our weightlifting machine right here where you can do uh, exercises for strength particularly for your legs and then this is the surprise it's the cupola it's one of the best places in the space station Of course, we have a great view of the Earth. Uh, right now, it's pretty cloudy, um, and we're flying over uh, the ocean. I think we're uh, right around the Pacific Ocean at this moment in time. Unfortunately, we are missing India, um, but I wanted to show you a couple things from this view. Uh, where I was in the very beginning of the video was right in that spacecraft right there. That's our Soyuz spacecraft that was connected, uh, that is connected to the space station. Uh, a little smaller than the whole rest of the space station, <laughs> so it's a little bit crowded. Another really interesting module that we have on board right now is the Japanese HTV, which uh, our crew grabbed with the Canadian robotic arm and attached to the space station. And so you can see uh, why we spend a lot of time in here looking at our beautiful planet uh, from this from this view. And we'll come back down now to. Uh, to the U.S. laboratory. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes you get lost in the space station. <laughs> Laboratory's nickname, and it was uh, it's pretty much the, the heart of the what we call the partner segments. Uh, from here, we have a couple more laboratories, but this is the main area where we do robotics work. Uh, we also do all sorts of scientific investigations with the different science instruments that are uh, uh, mounted here and, uh, and added all over, not only on the walls but also the ceiling and the floor. Next is node two, sort of like node one. It has pieces and parts connected all over the place. Um, HTV, the big gold module that you saw outside, is connected to our floor right here. Uh, we got a lot of supplies from it, and we're taking those out, and then we're going to use it as a, uh, a trash compartment, put all of our trash in it, and so that's how we get rid of all of our trash. To the right is the European laboratory, the Columbus module. Um, we do a lot of medical experiments in this module, and uh, again, it has all sorts of other experiments uh, mounted all over the ceiling, floor, and each of the walls. And finally, I will take you into the Japanese module. This module's name is Kibo. It's uh, in translation into English as Hope. I think it's a pretty appropriate place. Um, when it came up, it had no racks at all, and now it's filled with all sorts of science experiments from all over the world, just like the other um, uh, modules that we've been in, other laboratories that we've been in. And uh, I uh, received a very special gift uh, in one of my crew care packages, and I just wanted to show it off to everybody in India and wish India very happy Independence Day for August 15th. Um, there's been thousands of years of struggle to make India free, and by the uh, great will and power of the people, and particularly Mahatma Gandhi, India has got its independence for the last uh, many years, and uh, it's been a very productive, um, wonderful country. I'm very proud to be part from India. My father, of course, is Indian from, from Gujarat. And when people ask me about India, what do I what do I think about? I think that it's a very colorful place, um, not only from the colors of the beautiful flag, but of all the people who are there. It is a very uh, creative, colorful, wonderful place, and I'm very proud to be from there. So happy Independence Day, everybody in India. Thank you so much, Sunita. We all extend our best wishes to you for the success of your mission and your safe return to Earth.